Welcome to finance and accounting tutorials. Today I'm going to uh, base my explanation on working capital management. So working capital management is a financial metric which represents operating liquidity available to a business whereby you can get the working capital management by subtracting the current assets from the current liabilities where the current liability if in case the current liabilities exceeds the current assets then we say there is a deficit in the working capital now today i want us to look at the setting optimal cash balance how do you determine the amount of money that a company is going to hold at any given time we have three methods that can be applied to calculate the optimal cash balance whereby the first method is the cash budget then we have the second method is Baumul's model and the third method is the Miller or model. For this tutorial, we are going to look at the Miller or model. So you find that this model was uh, developed by two gentlemen by the names Martin uh, Martin Miller and Daniel O. Now these two gentlemen uh, they, they, they made the Miller O model under the assumption that the distribution of daily cash flows is approximately normal. So according to the two gentlemen, the target cash balance is given by this formula here, whereby the target cash balance is given by Z equals to 3 times B times the variance divided by 4I, everything power a third or you simply cube root that then you add l where l represent the lower limit so and the highest limit h is given by 3z minus 2l and the average cash balance is given by 4z minus l divided by 3 whereby z as we have seen here it is the target cash balance then we have h which is the upper limit l is the lower limit then the B that is here, it is the fixed transaction costs. Then we have I, which is the, uh, the opportunity cost on daily basis. And then we have the variance of the net daily cash flows. Let's look at an illustration. I think this one is going to help us understand better the Miller O model. Now, the illustration says XYZ's management has set the minimum cash balance to be equal to shillings 10,000. The standard deviation of daily cash flow is shillings 2,500 and the interest rate on marketable securities is 9% per annum. The transaction cost for each sale of purchases of securities is shillings 20. So you are required A to calculate the target cash balance, B you calculate the upper limit, C calculate the average cash balance and D you calculate the spread. So if we go through again our question for us to identify the various components of the Miller O model formula, we find that we are told that the XYZ management has set the minimum cash balance to be equal to 10,000. So the 10,000 here is the minimum cash balance, which is our L, that is the lower limit. The standard deviation of the daily cash flow is shillings 2,500. Remember, in our formula, we don't have standard deviation. What we have is the variance, but what is the relationship between variance and standard deviation? You find that standard deviation is the square root of variance. So for us to get the variance, we will have to square the standard deviation. Then we are given the interest rate on marketable securities as 9% per annum. If you look at the formula, the interest you're supposed to calculate is supposed to be on daily basis and not per annum. So in this case, we are given 9%, which is the interest per annum. Therefore, for us to get the interest on daily basis, let's assume that a year has 360 days. So that if we divide 9% by 360 days, we are going to get the interest per day. Then the transaction cost for the each sale or purchases of securities is shillings 20. So that makes our B, that is the fixed cost of making 
Apache Zone Securities. So let's go to solving the questions. Part A, calculate the target cash balance. So for us to get the target cash balance, Z is given by 3B times the variance divided by 4I. Then everything you put it uh, on power of a third, then you add L. So our B, like we have seen, it is 20. That is our fixed transaction costs. Then we have I, the interest, it is 9% per annum. So for us to get the interest per day, we'll have to divide that by 360 days. Our, our variance is given by the standard deviation squared, where the standard deviation as we are given, it is 2,500, we square that. Then the L, which is our lower limit, we have been given, which is the minimum or the lower limit, the minimum cash balance, which is given us 10,000 Kenya shillings. So replace that in our formula, we have 3 times 20 times 2500 squared divided by 4 times 9% over 360. Then put that in brackets, power third, you add L, which is the lower limit. So our Z will be shillings 17,211. Number B, you are required to calculate the upper limit. So for you to get the upper limit, H is given by 3Z minus 2L. We already have our Z, which is our target cash balance, which is 17,211. So for you to get the lower limit, which is uh, for you, uh, we already have our lower limit, which is L, which is 10,000. So for you to get H, you replace that in the formula. So we have 3 times Z minus 2L. That will give you shillings that 1,633. Let's move to our number C. Number C, you are required to calculate the average cash balance. So for you to get the average cash balance, it is given by 4Z minus L divided by 3. We already have our Z and we have our L, which is given as Z is 17,211, our L is 10,000. So you replace that in the formula and it will give you the average cash balance as shillings 19,615. The last question you are required to calculate the spread how do you get the spread the spread is given by the higher limit minus the lower limit we already have our higher limit as that 1633 and our lower limit is given as 10,000 you subtract the two to get your spread which is 21,633 lastly I would like to show you how the Miller or model is applied in the real world. So let's look at this curve. You might not understand what this curve means, but I'm going to make it as simple as possible. So let me use the figures that we have calculated in our question A, B, C, D uh, in the previous section. We got our lower limit that had been provided by the management as 10,000 Kenya shillings. So we have put it at below here as our lower limit. Then we have Z, which is our target cash balance, which is 17,211. Then we have our higher limit, which is given as uh, that 1,633. So you find that every time the company will be working towards maintaining a target cash balance of 17,000, 211 so what happens if this balance goes up and reaches uh, that 1,633 which is the upper limit that is for example the company is supposed to maintain 17,211 uh, Kenya shillings what will happen if the money exists and reaches that 1,633 the company is not supposed to hold more cash than that 1633 and therefore to dispose uh, the extra cash it is supposed to buy it's supposed to buy the marketable securities that are available in the market if it buys these securities it means that it is going to dispose of some cash and it is going to reduce the amount of cash to 17211 then what will happen if the amount again drops to 10,000, which is the minimum cash balance? The company will be expected to get more cash for it to have its target amount of 17,200. And how is it going to raise that amount? 
it is going to sell the marketable securities that it had acquired earlier so that it can acquire some cash so when it is selling it's going to acquire some money so the cash it is going to acquire is what will take it back to its target cash balance and that is how a company maintains a target amount of money and that is basically how the miller or model is applied i'm so grateful for taking this opportunity to listen and follow on this tutorial i hope you're also going to follow on our future tutorials meanwhile you can keep in touch with us at our contact above here i wish you all the best as you study and i hope you do understand in case you have any comments please drop them at our youtube channel thank you very much meet in the next tutorial